Hercules. Today, I uh, thought maybe we should have a conversation about uh, your home. People who are owning home, these guys who you bought your home. I know you are living in your home. But the question is, is it uh, something that you, you are investing in for the future that you think might give you a good return? Or is it just something you're buying just to live in it? So that's why today I thought I should come up with some a topic called is your home an asset or a liability? Let's first of all define what an asset is. I'm going to go through what Google is telling me. An asset is a given the financial definition, I mean, given financial definition of an asset and liability, a home still falls into the asset category. Therefore, it's always important to think of your home and your mortgage as two separate entities, an asset and a liability respectively. And what type of asset is a home? There's what we call a physical asset. On a physical asset, it includes anything tangible that you own that's valuable, anything that can be touched, physical asset that can be sold for funds to be used to qualify for a mortgage include but not limited to property, a home, a car, a boat, an RV, a jewelry, an artwork. So now the question is, how do I turn my home into an asset? Here are a few options that you can choose to turn your home into an income generating asset. Start a home business. Build a home-based business by converting an existing room into an office or a business hub. Or turn it into a rental property. If you don't want to sell your home, you can have your place rented. These are just a picked up from the Google. Now I want to give my perspective. You see, one thing is when you're purchasing that home that you want to live in, Sometimes people do buy homes because they just want to buy. They don't know why they're buying it. So this is where it comes to one thing. How do you, I mean, is this thing you're buying something you're looking at making some money in the future or having it as an asset that can be able to help you in the future? So this will bring you down. And this mostly I do gear towards our immigrants. When you're buying a home, don't buy what you can't afford. That is a song I always sing every day. Don't buy what you can't afford. Because remember, you look at maybe that in future it will appreciate. And maybe you came into this property with less down payment. So the property become a liability instead of becoming an asset. What I need you to do is one, sit down, do your calculation. Make sure that you can be able to afford this home. Because most of people and most of the clients that I've came across, some of them purchased home because they were told the, the appreciation will come in the future. Or maybe they went and bought a home because they saw another friend of theirs owning a good home. So they want to be like them. I've repeated this several times in my videos. If you can be able to go back to my videos, you'll see that I always stress so much on don't Go for what the other guys have. You don't know how they're making their money. That's number one. Number two, consider what is enough for your family. Don't go for what is not enough for your family. You can go, you're only three, you're a family of three, and you want to go for five bedrooms. What are you going to do with all the rest of the bedrooms? Yes, you can afford it, but do you need it? That's another question you have to ask yourself. Number three, monthly payment. Is it something that you can afford comfortably? I know mostly you like immigrants, you have some responsibilities to there in Africa or wherever you come from. There are people who are responsible, who you are also responsible on them. Their kids who are going to school, their parents who need food, their families who need other things. Do you think after you get all this, those guys will still be comfortable? And number five, make sure you know that there are also small maintenance that need to be done on these properties. And if you buy them expensively that you can't afford, it's going to be a liability. So most of the time, I always recommend people try to always do your due diligence before you purchase that home. Remember, that's the biggest investment you're going to do in this country more than anything. So is your home a liability or an asset? That's a question you should ask yourself every day. I know it's something that we didn't able to where we came from. It was very, it was not easy for just a, a simple person to purchase a home. But now we came here and find this American dream. You can be able to purchase a home comfortably. Please, 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 please make sure you do your due diligence, financial due diligence before you commit yourself. Otherwise, my name is Hercules Otieno, and uh, that's the small uh, thing I wanted to give to you guys. If there's anything that you want me to give you, don't forget 
to give me a call. My number is 763-498-2650. I'm a real estate agent with Realty Group. And if you are watching me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube. And if you are on my Facebook, hey, can we hang out there? And also Instagram, come over. TikTok, I'm also on TikTok. Let's hang out together. Hey, see you next time. Thank you very much.